Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for March. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that um, this is not a private reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this problem, this problem, this reading is probably not for you because these readings are for people who really need them. That's what tarot readings are for. You know, you really are struggling in some way. So if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you, you really don't need it, right? Um, although a lot of times your readings focus on money, they focus on your job. So, you know, this may still apply. It's You take it as it is. Um, again, this is for the month of March. We are recording this in February, so it may not resonate yet. Okay. I am booking readings out to March 20th if you want one. I'm sorry, but I just, I get so many requests that I'm, I, I am out, I'm out that far. So if you want a reading and you want to get on the schedule, just send me an email. One of these, we're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. If either of these come out reversed, we're not, it's, these, is a, this is an overall energy, so these ones we are not doing in reversed. These we will if they come out. Sagittarius for March. What do we have for Sagittarius for March? Ooh, new life. She gives birth to a new life. So you guys got a miracle coming. I mean, she's holding a miracle in her hands. It's a miracle. So something is coming, something good. A blessing is coming. Um, you guys have been through a lot of pain. You have to go through pain to get this miracle. You've experienced the pain. You're about to get a blessing. Woohoo, congratulations. If you are the Sagittarius male, you could be coming into contact with this woman who appears to be a true blessing. If you are the woman, this is probably you that's watching this, okay? You are going through some sort of rebirth, okay? So this could be the male as well. It's like there's a rebirth here. There's a renewal. Something good is coming after a period of pain, okay? So, congratulations. It's really a beautiful thing. It is. And you guys may be glowing at this time. You may be, you know, vibrating at a higher level. Your vibration There's more than one, so we're not going to take that. Um, it's time, okay? You see, it's harvest time right there. It's time. It's time. Time for you to receive some sort of reward for all the pain that you have been through. Some of you could be getting pregnant or delivering a baby. What do we got for Sagittarius? Although this is really just the birth of something new. It's a birth of a new life. Ooh, heart chakra. Now this is the, uh, well, it is the heart chakra. It says fourth chakra, but it's the heart chakra. Um, this is about healing. It's about self-love. It's I love, I love. So, I mean, this looks really, really good. Maybe your heart is starting to heal, you know? <clears throat> I also feel like you could be receiving an offer of love because before I started this reading and turned the camera on, I saw the Knight of Cups, which is an offer of love. So whether you are receiving that, you know, in a romantic way or not, there's probably some sort of love that is coming your way. There's healing, emotional healing here with that fourth chakra. There is. And that's being healed as well. You get that blessing. So what do we got for Sagittarius for the month of March? Sagittarius. Oh, my God. Yes, love. Did I just, I just got, I mean, this is love. So, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say other than this is love. I mean, this is love. It's a miracle. It is a miracle of some sort. It's a blessing. It's a true blessing of extreme happiness. And I think it starts with self-love. I think because you guys have really started loving yourselves, you're calling in something. I mean, this is beautiful. It really is. A new start in love. 
wow, the Queen of Cups. Holy shit. I mean, this is like, this is all about love. It really is. It's about, it's about, and she starts with self-love. So she's ready to love, you know, open her heart. So if you are the male, I just have to tell you, you could be coming into contact with a woman that you you could end up falling right in love with. She's emotionally available. She's compassionate. She's kind. She's nurturing. Um, she's very intuitive. And she's ready for love. So if you are the male, be prepared. You you may be falling in love. Could be with a water sign. Could be with a Taurus. Could be with a Libra. If you are the female, this is probably you. You are being looked at as, you know, available and, you know, worthy the whole nine yards. Um, if you have been discontent and bored and not getting what you deserve and not seeing opportunities, you may you may just all of a sudden decide, you know what, I do see an opportunity and I'm going to accept it, you know. I feel like there's definitely an offer of love coming in, um, but there's been, a, there's been a period of no action. I mean, Knight of Cups reversed. Remember, I saw it, but when I saw it, I saw it upright. You may not believe it. You may feel like this this is unbelievable. This is emotional time. You may be feeling really emotional because there's feelings involved here. You may not trust it. Two of Wands, you have a choice. This is a decision. You're at a crossroads. You get to choose which path you want to go down. You have two paths. You get you get to make a choice. You might have two options. You do have two options. That's what this is. You have two options. But you can only choose one. This is total wish fulfillment. You've got it all. You've got it all. So you are going to be offered, this is a cup of love. You're going to be offered some love this month. It is definitely what you have been wishing for. But the thing is, is you don't trust it. You don't, with the Knight of Cups reverse and the Ace of Wands reverse, it's like you might turn it down because you don't believe. It's like, maybe you don't expect it to go anywhere. You don't expect it to flourish. You don't expect it to grow. Dash, you don't expect it. You don't expect anything out of it. Maybe you don't want to get weighed down by love. I don't know. Maybe you like your freedom. Maybe you maybe you're very liberated at this time. Maybe you've just come out come out of a really dark period and yeah, you're looking good and you're feeling good, but maybe you're just not ready to, you know, get yourself involved in a uh, hardcore relationship right now. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Decisions, decisions, decisions. The seven of seven of cups. Choices. You have options, right? And you know that you have options, and I think that you don't want to be uh, making any wrong decisions here because you've learned some lessons, okay? You have. This is a life experience, okay? You have a lot of life experience behind your back, so you probably have some options here that are being presented to you, and you're maybe a little confused because you have to make a complex decision. You do, both this one and this one, as to which path is going to bring you the most wish fulfillment, which path is going to bring you the most abundance. I feel like somebody sees you as, you know their love or they want you to something you know they want to be in love with you or they want you to love them or they want to offer you love or they want to start a relationship with you and you're like oh, I'm not sure so sure I'm not sure this is what I want I'm not sure that you are what I want I'm not sure I think that you are unsure and therefore you're like you're not sure if you're gonna walk away you may just walk away from this whole situation <laughs> Maybe you like your freedom. Maybe you like your independence. I don't know. Um, there's something that is emotionally unfulfilling here. There is. And maybe that's why you're confused. 
Maybe you got to turn your back on one thing to be able to accept this new offer. You know, you got to make this choice. You definitely do. You got to make a choice between two paths. So you may have to turn your back on something else to choose this other opportunity for love, whatever it is. Wow, Six of Cups. I'm not sure if you got somebody from the past returning to your life. That could be the case. It could be. It could be. There could be a reconciliation here. There could be. This could be new love as well. Somebody that you've known since you were a child. Somebody that you have memories with. Somebody from your hometown. Somebody that, you know, maybe even from a past life. But I think this is somebody that you've known before. Whether it's somebody brand new that's coming back into your life at this time. And it's just like a shock and awe kind of moment it's like wow you know where did you come from you know but you've know this person you know that kind of thing um i feel like you don't have faith though you don't believe you may want to protect yourself from getting involved because of past memories because of being hurt in the past so you may be wanting to protect yourself you know, we have wish fulfillment here and wish fulfillment here. This is the nine of cups with the star. One of them is reversed. It's like this could lead to wish fulfillment, but you don't believe in it. You don't trust it. It's like you don't have faith in it because you're trying to protect yourself from getting hurt again, from getting here, you know, with this ten of swords. It's like you've been you've been really stabbed and, and hurt in the past. So it's like you're not sure if you want to really open your heart. But I think that you're ready to open your heart. But now that it's here, you're just a little... You know, trying to keep things under control. I think that you're trying to keep things uh, structured. I think that you're trying to be practical. I think that you're trying to be logical. I think that you're trying to um, make the right decision. I feel like you guys are trying to remain focused. Maybe some of you are really focused on your business. You're focused on your job right now. So you may be not really interested in just getting in a full-fledged relationship, but you could have somebody else that wants a relationship like right now, and you're like, I'm too focused on my job, you know, my business, whatever it is. Um, so you may not be able to give to the situation right now. I mean, the Six of Pentacles reverse, you may not be able to reciprocate fully. Maybe you're just feeling like you're trying to really keep your life focused. You're really trying to keep your life balanced. So right now, I probably think, I think that you're focused. I mean, you're being given a choice, a decision in regards to do you want this relationship? Do you want a relationship? Do you want, do you want this or not? And I think that right now, you're probably like, hmm. I do, but I don't. Um, I'm trying to regain my balance. I'm trying to just keep things under control, keep keep my head above water in some way. Um, you are definitely faced with a with a complex decision as to whether you want this relationship or not could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with anybody else, but this right here, it's like, like I said, keeping things under control. You're trying to keep things organized. You're the boss, and I think that that's the way it is. It, maybe you're the boss of your own business, and that's why you don't, you don't have time for it right now. Maybe, I don't know. If you are the female watching this, you could be having somebody come into your life that can take very, very good care of you. This person is a family man. He's organized. He's protective, and I feel like you're maybe you feel like you don't want to give the control over to this person i don't know but if this is the male this is for the male watching this this is probably you trying to protect yourself <laughs> you know definitely somebody here male or female is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again there's no doubt about it very protective energy here where i just want to keep things structured i don't want to let things slide i can't let things slide there's a lot of memories of the pain in the past that haven't gone away. And that you're, it's like you're wearing that. It's like you know that if you misstep, the shit's going to roll downhill. So I think that you're trying to really just be on your toes. Um, yeah, because you don't want to deal with any conflict. You don't want to deal with any conflict. You're trying to... You're reluctant to get into any new relationship or to let somebody in because you're... You're definitely protecting yourself. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to play any games with anybody. Um, 
So I feel like you may delay, you may push somebody away or just put them on, on pause, you know, because you just don't have anything to give right now for some reason. This could be the other person as well. Some There's somebody here that may not be reciprocating fully because they're a boss or they have a lot of uh, demands, you know, they have a lot of... Uh, responsibilities so perhaps whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with it's like somebody can't really fully reciprocate because they just it's like they're not prioritizing love as being the biggest importance but it is the first card we have a new start in love so somebody may want a reconciliation or you may want a reconciliation or somebody brand new is coming in and they're offering you love and it looks really really good and you have the opportunity to choose it if you want it but i think you're in no hurry the night of so you're in no hurry to to uh let go of the control that you have regained in your life yeah so you you're, you're going through a transformation right now you're going through a transition you're releasing some sort of past hurt some sort of past pain probably something that has walked away from you and left you stranded you're still releasing it i think that you are you're just going through a major life transformation you have an endings bring new beginnings and that's what's going on here you have a new beginning here a new beginning a big one okay so I really feel like you guys um, are transitioning from like that dark night of the soul, but you're in no hurry. You're in no hurry to have this new beginning because you're being very uh, responsible. Okay, you're being very responsible. You're trying to, you're being very wise. You've got a lot of wisdom behind your back. You've learned a lot of life experience. I mean, you have a lot of life experience from the troubles that you have been through. So I feel like you may be putting the brakes on, saying, you know, not right now. I, I urge it. And maybe you don't even say it. Maybe you just do it. You know, you're just like, I can't give to this right now um, because, just because, I, I, it's not the wise, wisest decision. You guys may be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Everybody, you got everybody here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, everybody is here. Either way, I do see that there is an offer of love. There's emotional uh, fulfillment in some way, you know, some sort of um, happiness. I mean, and this could even be self-love. It's like there's a feeling of just extreme happiness here, you know. It's like this, this is a very happy time for you, and you're glowing. People see that you're glowing. I think your vibration, like I said, has raised, and it, and it starts from within you. I think the self-love that you have given yourself you know the love that you have given yourself has allowed you to start something really really wonderful whatever it is transformation big big change i mean it's the beginning of a new life for you you guys are at the beginning of a new life so i feel like this month yeah there's there's an offer of love there is an offer of love definitely Definitely there is, but you may not want it. You may not be be able to give to it right now. You may not believe in it. You may not have faith in it because you've been through something really difficult, really difficult that has probably ended not too long ago or if it's even ended yet. You know, you may still be in a situation that's still ending. It hasn't ended yet and you're just being very wise. Yeah, this is removing obstacles. There's an obstacle that has just been removed that has hindered you. Or there's an obstacle that needs to be removed that has kept you trapped. So, you know, I, I really feel like you guys have been through something difficult, but that difficult period is over. It's over. Um, let's get you a couple angel romance cards. You have a new new beginning, okay? There's no doubt. With that Ace of Cups, the Death card, and the Empress card, you got a new beginning here. Things are starting to get better. And they're going to get better and better and better from here. That's what this is. Things are just going to get better and better and better. And it's because of you. It's because of the hard work that you have put in to transform. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. 
You're in no hurry. And I see that. And that's so wise to not be in a hurry. I see the wisdom here. You guys got a lot of wisdom. Remember I said you didn't trust? It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. You know, there's not there's an opportunity for an ideal connection here. The emperor and the empress. For an ideal partnership to come out of whatever this is. But you got to believe. you got to trust. you got to open your heart. And I think that you are. I think that you're starting to open your heart. Or maybe your heart is all the way open now. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's safe. It's safe for you to love. So Sagittarius, I feel like we have some sort of blessing that is coming to you because you have dealt with the pain that you have been dealt with. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's over. She's got the birth in her hands. The pain, it's over. The worst is over. The worst is over. The worst is over. I'm telling you what it is. So be prepared for to receive some sort of blessings from here on out. Talk to you next time.